um, my rhythm guitar is always part of the hook. Yeah. Always. Um, it doesn't make any difference if you go to, um, like, like if you ever go to a chic show, I could start off every song. And as a matter of fact, I do a lot of times and people know right away what it is. Yep. If it's, you know, if it's modern love and I go, they right away, they go, ah, yeah. I know when to go out and I know when to stay in. Or, you know, I'll go, Da, da, da. If we're lost in music, they know right away what it is. Yeah. Or I'll say, dang, 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 da, 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 da. no, no, notorious. Yeah. And poof, they know what the song is from the lick, China Girl. Da, 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 da. It's yep. right there. Um, my licks are the hooks. If either they're ostensibly the major part of the hook or they are companions to the major part of the hook but it's always in the hook mm -hmm. so whenever i'm working with an artist i always say let's start with the hook first and then we work backwards from there because yeah. if that's if that's the catchiest part of my guitar leg that's what i want to nail first yeah all the time and I, I and i tell every artist and you can check it doesn't make a difference whether it's Daft Punk or Daddy Yankee or Duran Duran or David, but I'm using all these now, Diana Ross. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, when they say they want to play a demo for me, I don't want to hear a demo. I'll write out the chart in the studio. Um, I don't need to hear it. I want to, because what you may have played on your demo may not be what I think is the essential hook. Hmm. But if I agree with it, when I get there, then I'll say, cool but I'm trying to make the hook when I get in the studio. So, um, you know, you may have seen the Daft Punk films that they put out before the album dropped. Yeah. And they, they, you know, and they, they get, you know, specifically they, you know, they asked me, Hey, you know, how, how did you make chic records? Well, yeah. here's how we do it. Cut all that other shit and just <laughs> let me play, the, let me play the drums because I'm going to start playing hooks. Yeah. And once I started playing all those hooks, then I come back and accompany those hooks and reinforce them. And then what they wound up doing was they wound up having everybody else then re-record to me, even though they had already had finished stuff. And it was so, it made me so proud to get phone calls from all my friends from, you know, from Nathan East and Omar Hakim and everybody called me going, damn, no, this is so dope. What <laughs> I was so proud and I was like going, yeah, well, guys, you know what happened is that I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but look, we're cool enough. They know. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all my life. And and they were just saying, oh, you know, well, when Daft Punk asked me, how do you make sheet records? I was like, whoa, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. I don't want to hear a piano part. I don't want to hear that. I want to do... I, I want to do what I do, which is start with the bare essence. And I got to give you a hook in my guitar part. 